hello, I'm Janice and I hope you're all doing well. We are currently in the car driving to a restaurant for our family dinner. What's the occasion? No occasion. We just want to hang out with everybody and also have seafood. So this is a seafood restaurant that I think I've featured once before in one of my videos. Nearly exactly a year ago, it is in Beverly Hills. We are about 20 minutes away. Um, so <clears throat> Eunice is kindly driving both of us there and I'll be driving us back you know we take turns because she doesn't like to drive but I also wanted to do an intro for this so I'm gonna you know check in with you again when we get there I think this time when we do order we will order like food that's different to last time hopefully I hope we still get lobster um, oh, and I want oysters as well I want steamed oysters and I want raw ones as well, but then I don't know if they do raw ones, Jess. Well, let's go to fish market. I'm really craving the oysters that we had. Um, oh, oh, tanker. I'm really craving the oysters that we had at the Christmas thing. So yeah, maybe. Oh, that'd be good. Okay, anyway, I'll check in with you when we get there. Okay, we have just arrived at Rising Sun Chinese Restaurant. We've been here before, but uh, it is located at here. I'll put the address here because I don't actually remember the address. But there's a pancakes on the rocks opposite this restaurant. I am actually not a huge fan of pancakes on the rocks. Anyway, this is what we're talking about. Okay, we have just arrived at Rising Sun Restaurant and uh, usually they give you some, you know, complimentary stuff. So we've got prawn crackers and we've also got peanuts. There was only one prawn cracker left, but let me get some peanuts as well. Okay, so for today, we've ordered a set meal again. I don't actually know what's in the set meal, but I'll find out and then I'll make sure it's all sort of covered. I do know that we've got a big lobster and for the lobster, we've got some noodles at the bottom. Like that is always our favorite way to eat it with the, with the, um, is it egg noodles, mom? Yeah, with the egg noodles on the bottom. On, and, and then like on top is like the lobster and the lobster sauce and the lobster juices just goes into it. It's so good. <clears throat> All right, the first thing that we have is a soup. It is with a, it's like a fa gao tong in Cantonese, which if I were to translate it directly, it's flour plastic, <laughs> but it's some sort of like fish. I'll find out exactly what it is in English and then I'll put everything here. Oh wow, this is very good. It's an internal gas-filled organ. Me what? It allows fish to control their buoyancy. Oh. It's a gas bladder. <laughs> it's like a balloon. Oh, it's, okay. Interesting. I'm sure there's a better English name for it. But, uh, <laughs> Fish more. Okay. Oh, well. My mom's telling me how to edit my video. <laughs> Add some pictures. But yeah, this soup is very nice. It's got a very good um. Is it very flavorful? It's very flavorful. It's very fresh, and it's got like an umami flavor. Okay. Next up, we have the scallops. So this is a little bit different to like. I guess more Western style ones. Uh, this one has soy sauce, it has shredded ginger, it has coriander. Typical to the soy sauce that you would find in like Chinese steamed fish. I love coriander, I love spring onions, so this is perfect. If only I had some rice so I could like pour the rest of the soy sauce onto it, that would be great. The scallop is still kind of like stuck to the shell. It's not like placed on it, like that's how fresh it is. The lobster has just arrived. Now we got noodles on the bottom. Typically we get um, egg noodles. So um, if you're getting lobster, ask to change it to egg noodles. That's always my preference. Like this isn't bad, but the egg noodles is my favorite. I tried to get lobster for Christmas, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So this is... Mao? Did you try to get lobster for Christmas? Yeah. They were all sold out everywhere. Okay, now we have the lobster. 
I'm gonna get some more later. We have, I think we have enough for two rounds. I usually go for the ones that I don't have to work too hard for. I try not to go for the legs because that's like maximum work and minimum reward. I added some EXO sauce to my noodles as well. EXO sauce is really nice. But I think the star of the dish is definitely the lobster. There's so much meat and the meat is so like... How do you describe seafood again? It's very bouncy. How would you describe seafood then? How would you describe how would you describe this lobster? Mm -hmm. Describe pork, mm -hmm. Okay, fine, it's quite succulent. Okay, I've secured myself a pretty big lobster piece of meat. This is the this is I think part of the tail. And I've got some exo sauce with some additional uh, noodles. Those, that exo sauce is really good. I don't know if they buy it or they make it themselves, but uh, I'm gonna use my hands. It's just, there's just so much meat. I just wish there were more noodles. That's the only thing. I wish there were more noodles that could soak up this lobster like sauce. Okay, so as a part of this meal, it also comes with like chicken and also some other protein I think it's pork and veggies and things so this is a chicken we've also ordered additional rice because you know I feel like rice completes a meal so this is the chicken that I'm talking about I've got some ginger and spring onion and also you know the ginger and spring onion oil it goes so well with chicken I really like the chicken the texture of it is very firm and like I said with the ginger and spring onion oil it's absolutely perfect and what makes it even better is now i have my bowl of rice and i can add the soy sauce add the the oil and everything to the i can eat so many bowls of rice with just the fish soy sauce and the spring onion oil we've had a few additional dishes arrive we have the fish we have the uh, abalone with vegetables and we also have another thing of just vegetables Okay, next up we have the sliced, thinly sliced abalone. I've actually never had it like this. I've typically had it either as like the really tiny ones and then we steam it and add soy sauce and sliced ginger. Or my mum makes it in soup and then we like slice it into really thin pieces and we dip it in soy sauce. This is a little bit different to what I'm accustomed to, but anyway, this is the, this is the uh, abalone. It's very, very thinly sliced. Can I taste that it's abalone if I close my eyes? Probably not. I can taste the like the, the sauce that it's in. It's quite savory. It's it's quite seafoody. The texture is very much like a clam. This is the vegetable that we got. It's a gailan or a Chinese broccoli as my mum told me earlier. very nice and fresh. What's it taste like? It tastes like vegetables. It has like a ginger sauce. So it's slightly gingery. Not overly so. Something that I urge you to try if you've never tried it before is when you steam fish, get the soy sauce that's in the bowl, put it on your rice. You can eat so many bowls of rice just with that. There's something about a fish soy sauce that is just so fragrant and delicious. See, I am more of a fan of like sashimi than cooked fish. But when the fish is fresh and it's got soy sauce around it, there's just, yeah, I don't know what it is. There's just something about it that just- When you steam fish, the juice of the fish comes out. So it mixes with the soy sauce. Okay. Uh, my brother has kindly interrupted and said, because when you steam the fish, the oils of the fish comes out and it mixes with the soy sauce, which is why like, it's like a special soy sauce. This sauce is so good. When you have the fish soy sauce in combination with the sliced ginger, sliced spring onions, some of the coriander, perfect. If they sold it in bottles, I would buy that. 
It's not fish sauce. This is not fish sauce, bro. I need another bowl of rice. Okay, next up we have the Geng Dou Guai, which is kind of like sweet and sour pork ribs, but better. <laughs> the pork is still relatively tender. My one didn't have any bones in it, but some, some of the ribs they do. This is one of those things that goes so well with rice. But my brother just took half of my bowl of rice, so I have none left because I ate it all with the fish sauce, fish soy sauce. Yeah, it's probably fried first. And then I don't think this is just sweet and sour sauce because there's a bit of like a vinegary hit to it. It's probably Worcestershire sauce. It's very good. Yeah. All my other keep sucker. Keep talking about my Worcestershire sauce. It's from Dasan Di Gong. Worcestershire sauce. I think we're pretty much done for today. I don't know if we're going to be ordering anything else, but uh, I think I've showed you everything. Okay, so this set meal, everything that we have, you can actually order it like takeaway. But instead of having like the soup that we saw at the very beginning, you get like a like a beef, like a stir fried beef, um, beef cubes. So, and that one is two hundred and thirty eight bucks. This one, yes, they know it's not just the beef cubes. It's like the entire set, it, like everything that we have, except the soup. But then, in addition to that, you get the beef cubes. That's 238. What we had today, this one is $268. And it has everything that you saw on our plates. Um, it's just a nice place that we go as a family yeah. whenever we feel like we want seafood. Um, so this is the uh, prawn with vermicelli. I'll put the exact name of everything that we've ordered in my description, but uh, this is delicious. This is like a stir fried vermicelli with some exo sauce and a whole prawn. I don't know how many prawns are in this bowl, but there's definitely more than five. Oh, this is my fun. I mean, this fun seat is so song. The flavor of the prawn is so prominent, even in the, the vermicelli. Look at this prawn, look at how big it is. The only thing is with these prawns, I have to use my hands to rip the, rip the prawn part. But because this is so delicious, I will use my hands for this. It was still so hot. I use my teeth. <laughs> look. Oh, look at how big this prawn is. It's massive. I'm gonna take the um, the poo track, huh? That prawn was worth me unpeeling it. This is what you Google on your phone. Usually, when I get this, I don't like have it on rice. Although sometimes I do, but it's like carbs on carbs. But um, this one is perfect, just as is. I love it. My mom just on the side just said, "This is a must-to order." This isn't included within the, the set menu, but if you have enough people, I'd recommend you giving this a go as well. I would recommend getting the, the prawn that's still in the shell, because I find that the flavor of the prawn is a lot more prominent in the vermicelli, as opposed to the prawns that already have their shells peeled. I think now, now we're pretty much done. Okay, now it's time for dessert. We've got some oranges and some red bean soup. There's a lot of different textures. Like you've got the, the texture of the red bean and then you've also got the, the jelly-like sago. And overall, this isn't too sweet. Um, yeah, it's just a typical red bean dessert soup. And we have also ordered a, this is a dessert ball. So inside it's um, black sesame. And then on the inside, I think there is like some sort of red bean. This is really hot. I think it came out like, I think it was just fried. I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a mochi kind of exterior and then inside there's the red beans. But the exterior, it's like a little bit crunchy because you've got all that sesame on the outside. It's a little bit chewy on the inside and it's like the red bean that's just, that's just oozing out. This is very nice. I really like it. My tongue is slightly burnt, but... 
Okay, and that is pretty much it for our time here at this Chinese restaurant. I'll put all the details, the address, the name, and everything that we ordered into my description box so that if you want to order what we have, you know what to order. Uh, if you're still watching, thank you so much for watching till the end. I post new videos every week. Check them out if you have time. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day and I will see you in my next video. Bye! <clears throat> I'm getting a bit hungry now. We're not going to get KFC before we go get lobster, Eunice.